Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin, it seems like it. First team all defense. All right, DA, thanks as always. I'll look at the 76ers starting group. Joel Embiid out there at prime time. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Harden, and it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. And for Brooklyn, Simmons is out there with Irving, and it's Durant, then it's O'Neal, and it's Claxton in at the five. And this game features two tremendous passing teams, and there should be a lot of fun watching these teams move the ball. One of the things that strikes you about both of these teams is that they really enjoy playing with one another. Both play an unselfish brand of basketball. The ball is moving, everybody's touching it, and usually that's when the confidence is sky high. Simmons looking it over. Great Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA to average at least seven rebounds and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, joining Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite-level company. That one is no good. And Simmons is an asset in so many ways, maybe most of all his defense. Well, unequivocally, Greg, this guy can guard one through four. And I'm going to say because of the length and the strength he has, in a pinch, he could also guard most fives. He's terrific on the defensive glass, and he can put a ton of pressure on you in his transition game. Like, this guy is a special talent. And it's prime time missing. Here's Claxton, guarded by Embiid. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Here's Philadelphia. Al Harden. He feeds it to Embiid. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. It's Harden with the drive. That's tipped. Here's Maxi. A terrific job from Irving to track his man the entire way and bother that shot. Inside, Durant, and the basket is good. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. You get the sense there is a level of intensity right out of the gates. Here's prime time. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The 76ers shooting their first free throws here for the night. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Simmons again, Tartan. Pulls it up. The short one's on the money. We know the interior is Ben Simmons' comfort zone. He can get his shots at this range. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Maxie finds Harden. 76ers moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. Here's Harris. The 76ers again can't hit it. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And Embiid has got the ball here for Philadelphia. Trailing by two. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all. But Greg, a first round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. Pass to prime time to the wing on the left. Harden up top. Pass to prime time. Poked loose and stolen by Simmons. The pass to Irving. Let's it fly from 18. And too long on the shot. Here's Philadelphia. Passes it to Harris. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Axie passes to prime time. Harden bounce pass. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Here's Embiid. It's good. Joel. It's all knotted up. And hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. One, two minutes to play. First quarter. Pass to Durant. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And Brooklyn turns it over again. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Sharps checked in for the Nets. Joe Harris comes in for Kevin Durant. Here's Maxi. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. To the wing right side. Here's prime time. That one goes. Count it. Not an easy finish right there, but a beautiful move to give himself just enough space to get in close and knock it down. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. For viewers, timeout's a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about the score. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. There's 126 left to play in the first. Harris looking it over. Knocked loose. Embiid with the steal. And now Philadelphia on the break. And go back to the steal by Embiid. That ignited the break. And Joel's length is such a factor defensively. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. This is his first free throw of the game. Guys, when you think about Joe Harris, he has become one of the most reliable, most efficient, most feared three-point shooters. This from a guy who was on the verge of being out of the NBA altogether at one point. Thomas checked in for the Nets. Here's prime time, guarded by O'Neal. Here's prime time, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Philadelphia shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Nets trailed by four. Pass to Harris. Here is Thomas. Pocket six. High post try. Misses off the right iron. Philadelphia leading by four. 11 feet away. That's good from Harris on the assist by Harden. Well, if you're that wide open, I can promise you James Harden will find you. He lobs it up. And then Sharp with the dunk. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Stolen by O'Neal. No good there. And that concludes the first quarter of play. 76ers lead by four. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports. tuning in if you're just joining us we've played through one quarter of action so far and guys what's your take on the 76ers so far yeah in that first period they look to push in transition at every opportunity and why wouldn't they you see their effectiveness in the open floor very difficult to slow down Durant is the four with Claxton playing the five Thomas is out there with Simmons and it's Harris in at the three spot that's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter Durant, wide open, he fires. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. 
KD's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Nets. Harden the best to Embiid. Here's prime time. Cranes the three-pointer. The rhythm. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. The pass to Harris. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Boy, you love the willingness of Joe Harris to mix it up. There's a physicality to his game that might surprise you. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Thomas. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day, Greg, falling down as much as they seem to be doing now? Oh, it's way more common now. And, and let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Harris finds Durant. Now here is Irving. From outside, off the mark. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Embiid, the pass to prime time. No good on that one. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. The dish to Simmons. Here's Irving. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And so Harden will bring it up for the 76ers. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad hooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. Pass to Embiid. Some nice ball movement here by the 76 Another miss by Philadelphia. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing thrown. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Pass to Maxi. Back to Harden. Three-pointer. A rebound by the Nets. Durant kicks to Simmons. Outside Irving. Beyond the arc. And again, it's the Nets missing. Philadelphia has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And after all the drama and warning now, Kyrie Irving remains a net. Feels like a bit of a farewell tour, but winning can heal all. And you never know what the future may hold, especially with Kyrie. Here's KD. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And that abounds as the Nets gain possession. O'Neal's check in for the Nets. O'Neal. For Brooklyn, they've gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Pass to Simmons. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Simmons tough enough to match that contest. That's a good finish. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. We got some t-shirts for the live. Oh. 
can they get it? Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Boy, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. For Philadelphia, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're five of five in that department. Two minutes to play. Second quarter. 156 left in the second quarter. Embiid with the steal. There's the pass to prime time. And the shot goes in. Now it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for Philadelphia. They're really mucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal. Just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Lynette's making a switch here. Thomas has checked in. We've got 128 left now here in the second. O'Neal passes to Thomas. Six to shoot. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The 76ers leading by three. Passes it to Harden. Over Simmons. Harden, no good. For Brooklyn, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five and ten. And the rejection by Embiid. Pass to prime time. It's hauled in by Thomas. Brooklyn's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Step back shot. Got a hand on it. To the right side. Harden outside. It's tipped. Oh, and here we go. Irving's got it. The fast break chance. Kyrie Irving from range. That is such a beautiful looking shot. And so Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. Outside, Maxi, six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to prime time. On the way, Harris. Shot clock at six. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And whenever Harris is aggressive like this, I think it's for the best because he has that ability to attract contact. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Nine seconds left in the first half of basketball. Now here's Irving. Here's Simmons. And that one released in time, but no good. Yeah, and Embiid has said before that he wants to win defensive player. 25. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. The second quarter saw them lose just a fraction of the lead they held at the end of the first, as they're now ahead by two points at the half. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The differential is the free throw attempts. That's one of the big stories in this game. Today. They were being so aggressive and so smart that all they could do on the defensive end was foul. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. They were strong in transition. It seemed like the guys fed off the higher team. Certainly. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Really an incredible game from primetime. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jack Rivers. Primetime is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. 
And it's Harden in at the point guard. Poked away. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. It's good. Harden's got the lead up to six now for the 76ers. Nice job by James Harden to leak out and get an easy opportunity in transition. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. He's doing everything he can to put this game to bed and great score there to help his team. Durant the pass to Claxton. Here's Irving. Some solid defense from Maxi. Philadelphia leading by six to the inside. And there's MB. That's good on the assist by Maxi. And that's now seven points for Joel MB. The net shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. It's Durant on the wing. Guarded by Harris. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Just four to shoot. Here's KD. Goes to the fadeaway and pins it. Durant's got seven. That's just such confidence when Kevin Durant gets into that mid-range jumper. Like, forget about it, defense. It's over. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, but there have been some challenges. KD says, I know the fans have high expectations for us, but if you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build, and you'll follow us along this journey because you never know what may happen. Kevin, back to you. Great. David, thank you. Prime time, the pass to Harden. Off target from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Durant. Outside for Simmons. Hey, yo, right here. To the middle. A second chance effort. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. Second official foul. And just Three, using two, that went to his full advantage. Durant one, draws the foul. Two, and we know what usually two, happens when he steps to the line. Mills, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Doris, let me ask you this. Is Kevin Durant the greatest scoring forward ever? I think he is, Kevin, but I also think that limits his greatness because when Kevin Durant is done and you consider the combination of his time, oh, Patty Mills is about winning, guys, and if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Outside, Maxi. MB. It's deflected. Right around three minutes into the second half. And O'Neal gets it to go. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Simmons again, Tartan. Harris passes to MB. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And we know how good MB is at drawing fouls, especially in the painted area. He welcomes the contact. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Sharps checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Edwards comes in for O'Neal. Harris is checked in for Kevin Durant. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Simmons. Matisse Thibel checked in for the 76ers. And the rejection by MB. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of MB makes it hard to be scored on. Now the pass to prime time. Harris with it. Thibel for three. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Thibel's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Passes it to Sumner. On the way, Harris. Here's Sumner. Edwards looking it over. Out to Harris. For the three. Good on the three-point shot. Harris has got eight points. The very quick response from deep by Joe Harris. We love it. 
Harden the pass to prime time. Back to Harden. There's a minute 34 left in the third quarter. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. Wow, James Harden putting a little sauce in the finish. Nicely done. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Hills with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. MB dishes to Harden. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's prime time. 18 points for him. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And NBA all defense for two years running. Matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot in the NBA. Thomas checked in for Brooklyn. And then for Philadelphia. Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. Here's Sumner. Boom, he chains it straight down. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. To the left side wing. Back to Milton. Ask the Thibault from the arc. Rebound, Brooklyn. Here's Sumner. Outside Thomas. They get a hand on it. Thibault for three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And we've reached the end of the third. Philadelphia ahead. They're up by five. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. We've got Thomas. O'Neal is out there with Sharp. And it's Durant. And it's Simmons in at the point. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And here is O'Neal. Shot clock at five. Throws it up high. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Sharp. 76ers shooting a lackluster. 38% for the game. Struggling so far. Here's Milton. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. It doesn't matter. Just make shots. Thomas finds Simmons. Outside for Durant. Well, good with the triple. Philadelphia leading by five. Pass to Thibel. Back to Maxi and the pass to Milton. Left side, Maxi uses the glass to finish the layup. Maxi's got his first points of the night. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And putting that pressure on the rim, that's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. And they double up Simmons. Thomas gets a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists in the game. Here's Philadelphia. They lead by four. Here's prime time, guarded by O'Neal. Bible the bounce pass. Right wing, six to shoot. 
On the wing, Milton. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the 76ers. They have been a wrecking ball defensively, coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Nets trail by seven. Passes to O'Neal. Irving against Maxi. Irving picks to O'Neal. Now Simmons back to O'Neal. Offline with his three. Pass to Embiid over Claxton. And it doesn't even draw iron. Brooklyn's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Simmons passes to KD. The 11-footer. Again, the Nets for two. A crucial breakdown defensively, and he was quick to make them pay. We call that execution, getting the ball to the right guy where he can do some damage. Hilton the pass to prime time. Driving to the basket. O'Neal with the rebound. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. At the line. And the first one at the line is good. Tobias Harris is checked in for Shake Milton. And at the line, shooting two. So he hits one of two from the strike. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. It's tipped. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain the possession here. And the 76ers call time here. And your next. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Prime Time. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thank you, David. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Brooklyn. It's a five-point game. And Simmons slams it in. Wow, Ben Simmons looking so confident in a big spot, guys. Pass to Embiid. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. And Simmons with the rebound. Simmons got eight rebounds in this game. Left side, Irving. Drives to the hoop. Chalk up two there. And it's now only a one-point Philadelphia lead. We all know that Irving wants to be the man to hit that shot. And when he takes it, he usually finds a way to finish. And 
Embiid against Simmons. And the shot goes in from Embiid. And the 76ers lead by three. And in the big moment, Embiid is your guy. He's always ready to go on the attack. And there's the pass to O'Neal. For three, Durant down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. And here's Harden for three. Trifecta! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Timeout called the Nets. They're trailing by three. 51 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. All right then. We need you right now. Come on. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth. Here's Irving. It falls! And what a sensational bucket to bring down within one. Man, that is a good one. Kyrie really just comes alive when the game gets tight. Harden, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right, he stays connected and great timing on the contest. Good! Kyrie Irving has such a tight handle that regardless of what's in front of him, he will get past you and get to the cup. And the 76ers call time here. They're behind by one. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This is it for Embiid. Philadelphia moving the ball around. It's in! And they do have a foul to give. Who wants a teacher right about now? That's right, Red. It's time to make some noise. Put your hands in the air. Let me see you. Now here's Irving. Over Maxi. Oh, off target. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And now we've got the intentional foul. Second personal foul. 14 foul. Back line to Philadelphia. James Harden. Back along with two shots. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. And Harden, so cool under pressure. Definitely not the guy you want to send to the line. Here's Irving. Can't cash in. Oh, the officials are all over that one. First personal foul. Team second. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. Kyrie Irving's history suggests he has ice in his veins. Another opportunity here at the foul line to show how clutch he is. How fantastic was that? One mistake and the game's over, but he gets it done. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. And Philadelphia has possession. Irving is out there with Simmons. Then it's O'Neal. Then there's Hicks. And it's Claxton in at the five. Brooklyn's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Pass to O'Neal. Kicks to Simmons. Pass to Claxton. That one misses. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Here's Maxi. That's in, coming off the assist from MB. Maxi's got the first basket here in overtime for the 76ers. Brooklyn trailing. Timeout called the Nets. Timeout. Turn it up, Nets fans, for your Brooklyn Nets.
Philadelphia on D. Outside, Simmons. The kick out to Irving. And stolen by Harris. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you like how physical Harris can get inside. Always looking to initiate contact on offense. First one falls for him. So he hits both. And really just a great rhythm at the line, whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Irving looking over the floor. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Kyrie Irving is elite, finishing on the interior. Don't let the size fool you. Over to the left wing. Baseline J. That one is good from Joel Embiid. 13 points for Joel Embiid. I, I love that plan. Set up the opportunity for the mismatch. Just a huge bucket there, and you're right. I mean, the team is lying in the matchup where they have a clear size advantage and putting it to use. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here on free throw coming up. Come on, that is remarkable work from Kyrie. Ridiculously crappy at how he gets into the defense and draws the foul. And free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish despite getting hacked there. And big on the back end to hit the free throw. Harden's shot is good. And the 76ers lead by three. Uh, James Harden has always absorbed a huge offensive burden. It matters not where he's playing and with whom. The guy is big time in the clutch. And that one's good, Irving. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around. Harden bounce pass. A floater, a three ball, and B trying to break loose. And James shot. It drops. And there is no back down in Joel Embiid. He is ready to rise to the occasion in the big moment. Outside Irving. Over Maxi. Here's Claxton. Count it and the foul. That one on Embiid. Well, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. The Nets making a switch here. Durant's checked in. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton. At the line, one shot. And that one misses. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They lead by one. Yep, that one goes. And credit Harris for creating that high percentage look. Scanning the floor and finding the best option. Timeout called the Nets. They're down by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. All right, man. Who needs a decision? Come on. Let me hear ya. Here's Irving. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Now the 76ers with it. It's a three-point game. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And he commits the intentional foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. Right, they have to love that it's James Harden going to the free throw line. This guy has been a fantastic foul shooter. Just a little more pressure here. To the paint. It's stolen by Harris. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. When you have one of the great scorers in the history of the game, as you do with James Harden, obviously you want the ball in his hands as much as possible. And here's KD for three. Hands the three. And this is what makes KD special, the willingness to absorb the responsibility of the big-time shot. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. 
And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Shooting for the Second one is good. In both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. So it's Philadelphia taking the W in a close one here. They escaped with a victory, although they needed an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from